Hey guys, Gaming Ducky here for another video. And today, I'm going to be checking out every single tower defense game on Roblox, and I'm going to be seeing which one is the best. So first, we're going to start with Tower Defense Simulator, which I think is the most popular one right now, apart from like 20 Tower Defense. But does that really count, guys? But yeah, let's hop into Tower Defense Simulator. Let's go. All right, guys, I'm in Tower Defense Simulator, and as you can see, I'm not that good at this game, level 21. Oh god, I'm laggy as hell right now. Oh dear. Yeah. I've only got Demo Man, Farm, Scout, uh, Ace Pilot, and then Soldier, my ducky soldier, my prize possession. Yeah, let's go hop in. I, how do we even just do a solo? Alright, we're in. Let's go into a multi mode. I'm pretty sure we can solo, right? Surely, chap. Surely, guys. Surely, guys. Surely, guys. Yeah, let's see if we. I reckon this is one of the best tower defense games on Roblox. But the thing is, guys, I like the ones with gambling, bro. I can't lie, I like the gambling, bro. I like the gambling. But there's so much gambling in this game. You know? Okay, here we go. Ace pilot down. Now it should be a little bit easier. Gotta put it in a kind of bad spot. A very bad spot, in my opinion. But, we should be fine, as long as our soldier can clutch here. Let's skip until we die, guys. I think we've had enough of Tower Defense Simulator, simulator right, guys? I mean, that's only a small part of Tower Defense is on this platform. Alright, guys, we died at Wave 16. Not too bad, guys, but yeah, I've definitely gone further. But yeah, Wave 16, let's hop on to the next game. Let's go. Okay, next game is Toilet Tower Defense, which is very controversial as people are saying it's kind of crap. But yeah, let's. Um, I made one noob to pro video on this account. I got TV Man in the end. So yeah, let's hop into a Toilet City round by ourselves. I don't think we're gonna play all of it. We'll probably do like a few rounds. Look at the animations. Look at the VFX, which I don't think they're. Let's put a car speaker man around here so we hit both tracks. Just in case they get through. Okay, whoa, he's actually better. Damn. It's pretty good. Let me know what you think about this game. The animations are a little bit questionable. Yeah, yeah, the animations are pretty questionable. The UI is kind of basic. Oh, my mouse works now. Okay. That's nice to know. That just started working. So yeah, let me know what you guys rate this out of 10. In my opinion, I'll give it like a 3. Other than that, let's just head on to the next game, honestly. Let's, yeah, let's head on to the next game. Alright, the next game is Anime Adventures, which is definitely my favorite game in this video, in my opinion. If you haven't tried it, you should definitely try it, because this game has summoning, levels, like everything. It's just so fun. Like, Alright, let's get something for this Sasuke. Let's see if we actually get this Sasuke, because I haven't actually got this new Sasuke. But it is anime, which some of you might not like. Okay, let's go. Come on, Sasuke, or, uh, Eternal, whatever your name is. Come on. Come on, come on. So, um, this game like makes me lag a lot though. It's very, let's just say laggy. Oh, shiny. Yeah, very laggy game. A very laggy game if you don't have a good setup. Like, I don't. Alright. I don't think we're going to get a Sasuke here. A little bit. But yeah, let's head into a Planet Namek. Infinite and I'll show you about this game. This game is story mode. Unlike most of the games we've done so far. A very long story mode, which I have completed. Yep. I have completed. Alright, we're in. And it says, vote start. It's a... Like, this game, I've got, like, the lowest VFX. Okay, I'll turn my VFX on this, but I'm about to be so laggy. Beautiful animations for the walking guys. Let's put Naruto down. Oh, I'm about to be so laggy. Look, it already takes me so long because of my lag. Yeah. Beautiful animations, beautiful everything. Look at this. Beautiful, man. This is definitely the best game in this. That's gonna be in this whole video. That's basically it for this game. Like, it takes a long time to be good at this game. Cause level, like, for doing it a whole infinite, you probably get like 50 XP. And look what level I am. Yeah, it's it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Let me know what you think about this game. The UI is beautiful. I think it's the best UI in any tower defense. But other than that, let's go on to the game which it got inspired by. All Star Tower Defense. Let's head on to that. Let's go. Alright, the next game is All-Star Tower Defense. Another anime Tower Defense game. 
but I do believe that Anime Adventures is a lot better. If you disagree with me there, let me know in the comments what you think is the best tower defense on Roblox. I think it's Toilet Tower Defense, Tower Defense Simulator, also Tower Defense, Anime Adventures, like some of the other not known ones, <laughs> okay? Let's head in here and let's do like a regular infinite because, I mean, I'm not going to do that much because it takes so long. Just like Anime Adventures. Just like the prices in this game, the balancing in this game is the lowest in Anime Adventures. Anime Adventures has pretty good balancing. It doesn't like change the meta each update and like most units are pretty equal. I'd say, but there are some that are like very good, some are very bad. Like some updates, they really they release like one good unit, and they, the rest are like mid. Like you know what I mean? That's pretty much it for Austin Hard Defense. Now let's head on to the next game. Yeah, let's head on to the next game. Let's go. I've never actually played this game, guys. It's called Tower Battles. Yeah, I've never played this game in my life. Let's see, so this is like the demo man. I'm pretty sure this was before Tower Defense Simulator. But I don't really like the system, like, okay, don't flame me guys. I don't really like the system that most Tower Defense games do, like where you have to like buy each one. I would, I do rather like a system that like doesn't like depend on luck, but like you don't just already see who you're gonna get. Cause I like there just being a little bit more of a luck side, but yeah, let's just buy this guy. I like how they do that, like it says how long each map is, so you can actually like, you know what I mean. Yeah, I don't think it's better than, um, Tower Tower Simulator. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Yeah, this game just basically looks like a Tower Defense Simulator, but just a little bit downgraded. Let me know if you think I'm wrong. But other than that, I think that's basically it for this game, it's just a downgraded Tower Defense Simulator. Yeah, let's head into the next game, which is gonna be World Defenders. Let's go. Alright, we're in World Defenders. Definitely doesn't look as nice as their newer game, The House. Which I don't think I put in this video, but if you guys want me to make a part 2 of this, let me know in the comments. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you want me to make a part 2 of checking out Tower Defense games on Roblox. But other than that, yeah, let's head on to a game. It's definitely like a little bit of a downgraded version of their new game, The House. The House has beautiful animations, beautiful VFX. Good lighting, but this game, it's good, but not as good as a newer game. Okay, let's just go for the Boneyard. Difficulty 1, because I'm I'm definitely not beating this by myself. Let's go, yeah, let's go normal. Let's go for the Caveman, because I want someone who does damage. Alright, let's see if we can actually kill these kids. Let's see. Pretty good animations, apart from the fact that he doesn't let go of the rock when he throws. Like, he's still holding the rock, but yeah, he's throwing the rock, but he's still holding it. I like this spawning system. It looks really cool, the VFX coming off of it. And yeah, I think there is more of a summoning system in this game than buying your, your units like Tower Defense Simulator and... Um, what's the other one? Tower Battles? Yeah, it's a little bit more of like a summoning and luck type thing. Because like you can buy crates and all that. But other than that, let's hop into our next game, I think... Ultimate Tower Defense? Yeah, let's try that one out. Let's go. Alright, now on to Ultimate Tower Defense. This game looks basically like All-Star Tower Defense, in my opinion. But it also has other characters, not just anime, I believe, because I've actually... Ooh! Let's go! 4%? Oh, damn! That's pretty cool. We got a good unit. But other than that, let's go up into this. Oh, so there is like a little bit of a story mode. Alright, let's go infinite mode. Let's start game. Okay, it's not bad. Better than All-Star Tower Defense, in my opinion. It's actually better than All-Star Tower Defense. <laughs> it's better than All-Star Tower Defense, guys. It actually is. It actually is better than All-Star Tower Defense. It's a really cool game. I actually really like this. I actually might start to play this one more often. It's actually like... A really cool game. It's actually such a good game. Wow. I didn't expect that from this. I didn't expect that from the video to actually find a game that I enjoyed. Apart from anime adventures. Yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what you think is the best Tower Defense game that I've showed this video. Let me know in the comments if there's any other Tower Defense games that are good that I haven't checked out. Because, of course, I don't know every single Tower Defense game. Let me know if there's any that I missed out on. 
that you think could be included in a sequel or anything like that. Yeah, just let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.